Have you ever experienced the Murphy's Law of Breakfast? You meticulously prepare your toast, butter a perfect golden square, and then, disaster strikes. You fumble, the toast takes a tumble, and lands, wouldn't you know it, butter side down. It's enough to make you question the very fabric of the universe. But fear not, frustrated toast flippers. This phenomenon, though seemingly random and infuriating, actually has a scientific explanation. It all boils down to a concept called Newton spread, a fascinating interplay of physics and probability that governs the way things fall and, yes, even how your toast lands. So, before you resign yourself to a lifetime of butter-down breakfasts, let's delve into the world of Newton spread and understand the science behind this everyday, and sometimes maddening, experience. The Genius of Sir Isaac Newton before we dive into spread, let's talk about the man whose name graces this concept, Sir Isaac Newton. This 17th century English polymath revolutionized our understanding of the universe with his laws of motion and universal gravitation. Remember that apple falling on Newton's head? Legend has it that simple observation sparked his exploration of gravity, the force that pulls everything towards the center of Earth. Now, Newton's spread isn't a separate law of physics. It's more like a playful application of his existing principles. Let's see how it works. The physics of a falling toast. Imagine your buttered toast mid-air, defying gravity for a glorious moment. The air resistance acting on the toast, combined with the initial force you applied when fumbling, will determine its orientation during its descent. Here's the key. Because toast isn't perfectly flat and symmetrical, it has a slightly fatter side, the side with the generous butter slathering. This unevenness creates a tiny difference in air resistance. The buttered side, being slightly heavier and offering more surface area, experiences a little more drag as it falls. This, in turn, disrupts the toast's initial trajectory, causing it to twist and, you guessed it, land butter side down more often than not. Think of it like a spinning coin. The heavier side, the buttered one, acts like the head side, experiencing slightly more air resistance and causing the toast to tilt in that direction during its fall. It's a subtle difference, but with a light object like toast, it can be enough to tip the scales, or the butter, in this case, in favor of a butter-down landing. Probability and the Toasty Tumble Now, here's the thing. Even with the slightly increased air resistance, the landing isn't guaranteed to be butted down every single time. Probability plays a role. There's still a chance your toast could tumble in a way that lands it butter side up. Imagine the toast spinning wildly during its fall. If the initial force you applied caused it to spin in a specific way, the buttered side might not experience enough drag to tip the balance. Or, if you dropped it from a very low height, the air resistance wouldn't have enough time to significantly affect its orientation. So, while Newton's spread increases the odds of a butter-down landing, it doesn't guarantee it. It's all about the interplay of physics and a bit of random chance. Beyond Toast, Real World Applications Newton's spread might seem like a fun scientific trivia fact, but its principles have real-world applications. For instance, engineers consider this concept when designing objects like badminton shuttlecocks or maple tree seeds. These objects have a specific orientation for optimal flight, and understanding how air resistance affects their fall helps ensure they travel the way they're supposed to. Buttering up your breakfast, literally. Now that you understand the science behind the butter-down phenomenon, are there ways to prevent it? Well, besides meticulously controlling your toast fumbling technique, there are a few tricks. First, try a thinner layer of butter. Reducing the weight difference between the two sides minimizes the air resistance effect. Alternatively, you could try a different spread, maybe a lighter jam or even a sprinkle of olive oil. Here's a fun experiment. Try buttering both sides of your toast. This eliminates the air resistance disparity, making it statistically more likely your toast will land on its edge, a less dramatic, though perhaps slightly less satisfying, outcome. 